Hello guys, this is MCV Digital, and today I'm going to be showing you is how to make buttons in Action Strip 3.0. And this is just a basic tutorial. I have two other videos on my page that have the very um, same concept, how to make a navigation bar in Action Strip 3.0, and how to make a button. And since they're both sort of the same, I decided to delete them and make this video so I can explain it all in one video. And I'm going to be making three buttons. The first one is Home, which when you click it, it goes and plays uh, another frame which is going to say a bunch of random stuff the second one's going to be the anim button when you click it it goes to um, play an animation that we have in our flash um, in our flash document and the third one is going to be a site button which when you click it it goes to my youtube homepage and i'm going to be teaching you all this stuff in this video tutorial and i'm probably going to have to split this into parts but it doesn't really matter so the first thing i'm going to want to do is go to file go to new and for new document go to general and for flash um, for the type go to flash file action script 3.0 and click OK and now we have our new flash file up to zoom in I'm just gonna grab the zoom tool and click once then I'm gonna hold space I'm gonna press spacebar and hold it down so I can turn into my hand tool and I can just come over here and get in the middle and now I'm just going to make a basic bun. I'm not going to make anything too fancy. I'm just going to make something really simple. I'm going to come over here to my paint bucket and I'm going to make the color black. I'm just going to make a simple black bun with my rectangle tool. If the rectangle tool isn't here, hold down this bun and there's all these types of shapes you can do. I'm just going to click on rectangle tool or you can press R. I'm just going to draw a basic rectangle. As you can see, I have a curve on mine. And to make this, you just gotta press the down arrow tool and keep on pressing it and the more you press it the more it curves and when you put it up the more it uncurves and then if you keep on pressing it up it makes this weird looking shape when the sides come that um, inwards so I'm just gonna make it curve a little bit and that's good now I have a basic bun this is basically the layout of the bun we're gonna make but now I wanna add text so what I'm gonna do is gonna come over here to my text tool or press T. I'm going to come on my paint bucket. I'm going to make the text white. And now I'm just going to click on my button and I'm going to say home. Now I'm just going to center this, make it put in the middle of my button. And now it's in the middle of my button. And basically I have a layout of a button. And I'm going to um, scroll over the edge of my button. And as you can see, the bottom of my arrow tool has this little curved line and that means that I'm over the line that's around the box and I don't want this line so I'm going to double click the line and I'm going to press delete or if you can't see it here it is I'm going to make it a different color there it is it's a line that's around my button so I'm going to double click it and I'm going to press delete and now it is gone and that's exactly what I want so I'm going to select um, my entire button or drag a box around it with my selection tool like this. Now that I have it selected, I'm going to right click it and come down to convert to symbol. And when I click that, this box comes up and it asks you for all these types that you can use when you convert to a symbol. For the name, I'm going to want to call it home underscore btn. For the type, I want it to be a button, of course, not a movie clip and not a graphic. Make sure you click the drop down box and drop down box and make it a button and for the registration I want it to be in the middle the registration doesn't matter you can have it either in the middle or the top right corner top left corner and then press OK and now basically we have our bun you can tell that it's a symbol because we have a blue box around it and so now I'm just gonna put it over here basically at the top of our frame and now I'm just going to double click it and I'm going to show you something that's really neat that you can do with your button. Down here as you can see the timeline has changed to different types of frames. The frames have words above them that say up, over, down, and hit. Basically what this means is this is what you can use to make um, when you roll over your button it turns to a different color and when you press it down it changes color so I'm just going to click on over the over frame and press F6 or right click it and go to insert keyframe. Now that I'm in here, all I have to do is change how my bun looks. So I'm just going to change the black rectangle to probably a nice gray that's lighter. And 
for down. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to have it when you roll over it, it changes. So I'm just going to double click anywhere. And I go back to my regular scene. And when I go to control, test movie. As you can see, when I roll over my bun, it changes color. And this is a nice little effect to do. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to add two more buttons. So basically what I'm going to do is, first of all, add two more frames. And I'm going to call my first frame home underscore btn. I'm going to call my second layer anim underscore btn. And the reason why I call it anim is because that's the button that you're going to click. And when you click it, it plays a little animation. And I'm going to call my other, my last layer, I'm going to call this site underscore btn. And now I'm just going to click on the anim btn layer. And I'm going to go to my library. If your library isn't here, go to window. And go down to where it says library. Or press control L. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my library. And here's my button. So I'm just going to drag it into the stage. And here it is. This is basically my button, but it says home. And I don't want it to say home, but when I try to when I double click it and I try to change the text, it changes it for my other button too, and that is not what I want. So I'm just gonna select my button and go up to modify symbol, duplicate symbol, and this pops up and for the symbol name just call it anim underscore btn and now it is a different button as you can see over here in the library there's another button called anim underscore btn but it still has the home text on it so I'm going to double click it and I'm going to go to my text tool and I'm going to select this and I'm going to instead say anim and I'm going to copy this text and I'm going to come to my over layer remember that we did that and I'm going to delete this text and I'm going to right click on the stage and I'm going to say paste in place and now our anim text is in this frame. So now when we test the movie, test the movie, there's a home button, and when you roll over it, it turns gray, and there's an anim button, and when you roll over it, it turns gray. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my anim button right next to my home button, like that, and it makes it look more like a navigation bar. And now I'm going to come to my site button layer, I'm going to do the same exact thing except I'm going to call this one site. So I'm going to modify symbol, duplicate symbol, site underscore btn. Now I'm going to double click inside of it, change this text to site, right click it, say copy, go to my over layer, delete this text, then just click anywhere on my stage and say paste in place. Now I'm going to double click anywhere to go back to my main scene. And I'm going to drag this and I'm going to put it right next to my anim button. So it looks more like a navigation bar. And I'm going to select all of these and move them a little bit more in. Now when I test my movie, control test movie, it looks fairly better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another layer. But with this layer I'm going to bring it all the way to the top. And I'm going to call it action script. And you're going to want to keep an eye out for this layer because we're going to be using it in the near future. And this is going to be a very important layer. This is where we're going to put the actions.